Call police, open the door. Huh? Officers make their presence known at an apartment in the 900 block of North Charles. <laughs> to be greeted with screams for help. And eventually finding 57-year-old Anthony George, later lunging into a nearby room, grabbing four-year-old Terrell Miller. What? A single gunshot, killing them both in an instant. Anthony was uh, intoxicated, um, and things went left. Like he told me, if I can't have you, nobody can. And that's exactly how Terrell's mother, Kiana Miller, remembers it. No justice! Now, a call to action. Miller, along with about 50 others, rallied and marched for policy reform within the Macomb Police Department. They could have did anything besides use their weapon. They had tasers. They had pepper spray. And policy is what Police Chief Jeff Hamer says he's looking into with an internal investigation. In a July 24th interview, Hamer called it his priority. I feel I'm, I'm you know, 80 to 90 percent of the way there. Tell me how that was police procedure. What was their reason? They said in the report that he acted within the guidelines for the use of deadly force. Miller's attorney Marlena Suarez saying Officer Nick Gock, who Hamer confirmed as the shooter, should have used de-escalation and negotiation tactics. He was a bright young man. He never did nothing wrong. He didn't deserve to get killed by the police. Suarez claiming the case is far from over and that a civil lawsuit will be filed by the end of next week. It may be the only alternative open to us at this point. And in the meantime, Miller family, hopes change will stem from Hamer's change. internal look. But she isn't holding her breath. Um, she remembers her son, who would have turned five about two weeks ago as a ball of sunshine who was everyone's best friend. You had a bad day and you looked at him and he was, hey, I'm Terrell. How are you doing? You know, he didn't, he didn't have an enemy on this earth. In Macomb, Dylan Smith, WGEM News. All right. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The tabernacle of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the 144,000. It's your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakahak Wadash. Don't pray for these people out here, man. I hate to say it and it may sound harsh, but don't pray for them, Israel. You see that we do these lessons day in and day out all over the earth, you know, but, you know, instead of our people hearkening and listening to the prophets and repenting and seeking the Lord and turning back, Right uh, from their wickedness, you know our people they still celebrate the holidays. You know you got the women out there they still twerking, right? Talking about uh, eat my ass and pay my bills. You know these men out here they still hollering about uh, I don't I don't know because I'm not around these wicked two third men. You see that? So the point is, don't pray for them, man. Right? Because they're not seeking the Lord God of Israel. You see, they're seeking worldly things. You see, so you brothers and few sisters that are serious and that, that are sincere, right? When you around these people, don't pray for them, man. Don't lift up a cry for them or nothing because the Lord said he wasn't even going to hear you or them in their time, man, of trouble. You see, now here it is, another cop, you know, walking into the house somewhere, you know, and, you know, put, put, uh, put Jake to death, man, pretty much. You know, now you gonna have people marching up and down the street talking about some, you know, uh, you know. And these people, they don't know that the scriptures tip. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna open up there first, man. All right? Let's grab this first. It's gonna be a quick lesson, man. Nothing deep and nothing long. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter, uh, matter of fact, let me see here. No. I wanna grab this. This is the book of 2 Chronicles. I love this priest. I love the way it rolls off. This is the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 12. And in reason, they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord their, of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. You see that? So who is the law, statutes, and commandments given to? That's right, you Israelites. 
You know, so no one can say, you know, well, I, I, I can eat pork now. No, you can't. You know, no the hell you can't. No, you can't eat shrimp. No, you can't eat lobsters. You see that? No. You know, so the law, statutes, and commandments are for you, believe it or not, man. You know, and this is why you Israelites out there are being put to death. 2 Chronicles 15 and 13, right? That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be what? Should be put to death. And this is what you see happening here, man. They're not seeking the Lord God of Israel. They're not seeking Yahweh while Yahweh shy, right? They're seeking uh, 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 to be like a two-third. You see that? Whether small or great, whether man or woman. That's right. So nobody is exempt from the judgments of the Lord, man. Nobody at all, you see? And, you know, this is why scriptures tell you disasters after disasters are coming your way, man. You know, look at these people out here. Look at this. Look, she got a, uh, what do we call it thing? Lena Suarez saying Officer Nick Gock, who Hamer confirmed as the shooter, should have used de-escalation and negotiation tactics. He was a bright young man. Yeah. How are you going to pray for a person like that, man? With all the piercings and the, you know, the fake hair, you know, you already know what they're about, man. Let me tell you something else too, man, right? Because I know a lot of women, right? I do. I know a lot of women that have, that have, that have, uh, I'm talking about personally. Killing them both in an instant. Anthony was uh, intoxicated. Let me tell you something about these women like this here, man. These women like this here, what they'll do is they'll have kids, you know, by, by three, four, five, six different baby daddies, right? And what happened is this here, man, right? Because again, I know them personally. They'll have kids with these men, right? And then they won't be with the man. They'll collect child support and all of that, right? And they'll let the kid grow up, you know, feed them all kind of GMO foods, tricks, and 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 uh, uh, the cereal and oodles and noodles and shit. And then when something happens to the kids, like they get killed, these people, they don't really feel bad for these kids, man, they get killed, man, right? They don't feel bad at all. What happens is a lot of them, they expect a payout when their children get killed. You see that? And then what will happen is they'll wind up getting pregnant again. See, Eve likes to stay on this Section 8 shit. They do. They like to stay on the Section 8. They like the, they like the fact that, you know, a man, you know, has to come out of his pockets and pay them. You see that? When she's the one that opened up her nasty ass box. You see? So the point is, brothers and sisters, don't feel, don't feel bad for these individuals. Don't pray for them or none of that. Grab that. Since I keep bringing it out. I'm going to grab it. Where is that at, man? That's what Eve does. That's what Eve does. She has kids by several men just to collect the payout. And then when something bad happens to the kids, like they get killed, right? They'll, they'll get some money, right? And then what we'll wind up happening is they'll lay down with another man. You know, just so they can stay in that, in that, uh, stay dependent on Esau. Jeremiah 7 and 16. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. So don't pray for them. We don't, I, I don't anyway. I don't pray for them at all. And I'm going to listen to what the Lord said. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them. You see that? What does that mean? It says, neither make intercession to me, for I would not hear thee. That's right. So the point is, don't pray for these people out here, man. There's no helping them at all. The only thing that's going to help these people, right, is the Lord, man. The only thing that's going to help these people is the Lord. You see, and if you ask me, the Lord is allowing you individuals to be put to death like this here because, man, the Lord knows <laughs> that you individuals ain't right, man. You know, what did he deserve? My son didn't deserve, right? Well, what if, you know, and again, they don't, th they don't think about the things they did in their past life because Jake doesn't believe in that. Jake don't believe in the chariots. Jake don't believe in reincarnation. Jake don't believe in the missiles. Jake don't believe in the mark of the beast. None of that. Jake doesn't believe that Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. So therefore, don't pray for him, brothers. You can't, you cannot help him. Scriptures tell you that these people are revolted and gone. You understand? So, you know, here's, here's more videos, right? Like I say, here's more videos of, you know, Esau running up in, into you individuals' houses, right? Putting you to death. Kids and kids and all. Now, let's see if people be in an uproar about this. You know, people was all in an uproar about, what's that woman name? Massey, right? Or whoever, I don't know, Moses or Massey, whatever, 
All right, let's see if let's see if people march up and down the street behind this right here. All right, let's see how people react to this. But because it's a man and a little boy that got killed, you know, people they don't care, and we don't either. Don't pray for them, brothers. Let's grab this here, man. Because our people they they refuse to hear us, man. The videos are going up, but they just refuse to listen. This is the book of Jeremiah 15. I'm gonna start at verse five. I'm gonna read it in the NLT. And it reads, who will feel sorry for you? That's right. Who the hell going to feel sorry for you, man? No one feels sorry for you wicked ass people that are getting put to death. You know, the prophets, we don't feel bad at all. Read it again. Jeremiah 15 and 5 NLT. Who will feel sorry for you, Jerusalem? Who will weep for you? Who will even bother to ask how you are? And the answer is nobody. Nobody cares about you black people out there. You so-called blacks. Latinos and Native American, no one cares. You 12 tribes, no one cares. Verse six, you have abandoned and turn, he's like, you have abandoned me and turn your back on me, says the Lord. That's right, so our people, two thirds, they don't believe in the Lord, so therefore don't pray for him. You understand? Keep going, it says, therefore I will, rise my, I will raise my fist to destroy you. I am tired of always giving you another chance you see that and you know what the Lord always is giving you so-called blacks Latinos Native Americans another chance you see that chance after chance after chance to repent to seek the Lord you know to, to, to turn back from your idols right to stop stop you women out there with all this nasty ass multicolored hair it's like a rainbow here man you know, I, I I don't know what the hell is going on, but I do know one thing. These people, they're not seeking God, man. They're not seeking Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. Let's go back to that. This is the book, right? Shalakia, I got a lot going on this morning. This is the book of Jeremiah 15, verse 7, the NLT. I will winnow you like a grain at the gates of your cities and take away the children you hold dear. I will destroy my own people because they refuse to change their evil ways. You see that? And you know what? The Lord is going to destroy you individuals, right? With these IC intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. He really is. He's going to, he's, yep, he's going to destroy you with these ICBM missiles. Because you people out there, you guys are like dross, right? You guys are like trash, right? And again, again, brothers and sisters, don't pray for them at all. Scriptures say, uh, Matter of fact, uh, you think this is bad. Scriptures say disasters after disasters is coming your way. Let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grade to wrap this thing up. Disaster, let me see. I wanna say it's Ezekiel, the seventh chapter, and I'm gonna read verse five, slock you, and it, I think it's the NLT. Let's see what that says. The, uh, here it is right here at the water of Yahweh. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 5 in the NLT. And it reads, uh, if I can get this damn thing to get out of the way. It says, um, it says, what, uh, what is that the Sir John the Lord says? Disaster after disaster is coming your way. You see that? So yeah, man. Disaster after disaster is coming your way, Eve. You know, it's coming. So brothers and sisters, don't feel bad for them. Don't pray for them, right? We're doing the videos, but these people, they're not listening. They want to watch a, 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 a 20 against one or pop the balloon or, or, or some reprobate shit that, ha that has nothing to do with salvation. You see? Let's go ahead and read another one here. You just had a, um, a, 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 a key player over there and... Um, in the damn uh, Middle East, he he just got killed by an airstrike. But people, they you know, people are, are worried about Trump and Kamala Harris, man. Let's read this here. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter seven, verse nine. It reads, uh, uh, "Thus speak uh, the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment and shew mercy and compassions every man his brother.' You see that? Let's keep going here. If my phone." Okay, verse 10, and oppress not the widow, nor fatherless, uh, the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of your image, uh, slack, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. And this is, mm. verse 11, but they refused to hearken, right? They pulled away the shoulder, 
They stop their ears they should, that they should not hear. You see? They made their hearts as adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came the great wrath, it's like came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. You see, and I want to read this here, man, because, you know, our people, they've always pulled the shoulder. They've always rebelled. They, they never want to listen to the prophets, even in the past. You see that when Yahweh Shai was being crucified, you had our people, right? And you had our people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans in the crowd, bugging out, you know, saying, uh, 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 um, uh, crucify him, man. Right, that Pontius uh, a Pontius Pilate is our uh, is our king or something like that, man. You know, so again, don't don't feel bad for him, don't pray for him or none of that, man. Who cares? I'm in the spirit of who cares. People marching up and down the street, right? You got these videos flying up, seeing judgment happen, but you know, people really think in their mind that you know that can't happen to me. That can't happen to my kids. Right, and you men, women, right, that think that something like this here can't happen to you, you are sadly mistaken here, man. Sadly mistaken. You see? You know, so it's just showing you, right, no one is ex exempt, young or old. You individuals better wake the hell up. Jake gets emotional when we do these videos of, you know, showing these little people. Right, but you know what though? You better get the emotions and shit out of it. Scriptures tell you that our evil men understand not judgment, man. So again, don't pray for them. Let's go ahead and grab uh, another one here. I'm ready to shut it down. The point has been proven. The point has been made. I don't have to drag this out. This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 9. It reads, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. You don't know what torment mean? Look it up. Verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. That's right. The Lord gave you, gave you, the Lord is always merciful to you wicked ass people that are out there, man. He allows you to eat, breathe fresh air, be free, all of that. Every day you get a chance to wake up and to get right. But you know what? Our people, they don't want to do so. You know, they think that I, I don't know what these people think, man. I don't. So I can't even start to even begin to. Second Ezra 9 and 11. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. That's right. So you two thirds, you're going to know death by pain. Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and close out with this one here. This is the book. Right of uh, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 16 and it reads therefore pray not thou for this people neither lift up cry nor prayer for them neither make intercession for me for I will not hear thee you see that now I didn't bring matter of fact that's the same one that I brought out but there's another one here that I wanted to bring out Jeremiah chapter 11 verse 14 there's actually a few of them Jeremiah chapter 11 verse 14 therefore pray not thou for this people Neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, for I would not hear them. You see that? In the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. You see that? So, you know, just, just want to touch this lesson here, man. Right? Don't pray for these wicked ass people that are out here, brothers and sisters. Right? If you're going to pray, just pray for the brothers, right? And the few sisters that are doing their absolute best, right? To seek Yahweh, man. Why Yahweh shy? You see that? The brothers that you see out there, you know, uh, 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 you know, and you got to have the spirit of discernment when it comes to that, man. Right? But the point is, don't pray for these wicked ass, these people that you see walking down the street, when you uh, 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 ride past a laundromat, when you're in the grocery store, or, or when you, you know, whatever you're doing, right? Don't pray for them. Because disaster after disaster is coming their way. You see that? And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, Israel, to the next time I say, Shalom. Huh? Officers make their presence known at an apartment in the 900 block of North Charles. <laughs> to be greeted with screams for help. <laughs> and eventually finding 57-year-old <laughs> Anthony George, later lunging into a nearby room, grabbing four-year-old Terrell Miller. What? A single